I've searched high and wide looking for the perfect boat. So I live on the Chesapeake Bay. I fish regularly in the shallows, but man, I need something that also is great for the family. So I've done a whole bunch of research and let me tell you my three top choices for my new boat. Like I said, um, I'm going to be buying a new boat in the future here, and it's going to be one of these three boats most likely, unless someone changes my mind, um, because I've done a lot of research. So my criteria for a boat is something that has 12 inches of draft, something that's between 23 and 26 feet, something that has low gunnels, which means the low sides, and also something that is up, seat, up front seating for the family. Um, I currently have a 2018 231 Sportsman Heritage, and while it is an awesome boat, it is not an awesome boat for all the things that I like to do. I go crabbing, I like perch fishing, and getting in the shallows, and getting back in places that, you know, a boat like a 231 has some trouble because it drafts 15 to honestly about 18 inches. Um, but it does have the family, um, you know, aspect really met. It's a great family boat. It's got tons of seating. And if you get out in the open bay, man, I never had to worry about big water or anything like that because it handles the chop. It handles all that open bay and that lower bay uh, had to throw at it. I'm going to go over three boats today. One's going to be the Scout 251 XSS. The other one is going to be the Pathfinder 2400 TRS. And the last one is going to be a Sea Pro Bay Series. All right, so now before I start going over each boat, these are all considered bay boats. Bay boats got their popularity down in Florida. They really haven't caught on in the Chesapeake Bay region. Um, but I think with a lot more people fishing shallow and a lot more a need for, you know, big open areas in the front of the boat that can fit families as well, you're going to start seeing more and more guides and more and more just regular fishermen using these bay boats. So I'm gonna go over my top three. I'm gonna start with the Scout. To be honest with you, the Scout is definitely the one that I feel like is the front runner. So let's go ahead and get started. And you can see that this is the Scout 251S, or sorry, 251XSS. That's a mouthful to say. So right away from this picture, you can see it's got great seating up front, which is a very big deal for me uh, and my family. It's got this middle sun deck thing that will come up as a, um, you know, as a table when you want it. And it also has a place for a trolling motor, a nice leaning post, and it looks like plenty of space um, behind there. Um, I really, really love these boats. You know, they come at a price because they are definitely um, higher end boats. But just kind of looking at it, these are the specs on it, and this is why I love it. You know, it's a 24 foot boat, or almost 25, an eight foot six inch beam, which means it's wide, but not too wide. And this right here, the draft is about 13 inches, which is really, really great. Um, and you can see the dry weights on the light side as well, which is great too. So we're just gonna go through a really quick uh, photo gallery of it, and I'll highlight some of the things that really drew me to it. Um, like I said before, I love the fact that it has this open area up here. Um, I love having my wife and my kid, uh, son, out there with me uh, fishing and boating and stuff like that. So this just is a comfortable area for people to kind of um, lay out and do their own thing while we're fishing in the back. Um, but I also use that area too to fish when I'm by myself if I need to stand up and see the water a little bit better. And you can see right here, it'd be really easy to stand up there. You take the cushions off, you put the insert in, you have a nice casting deck right up front. All right, and so one of the things that really drew me to the Scout is I can tell, and you can tell here, the gunnels are a little bit lower, which is great for shallow water fishing, but I just love the lines of this boat. You can tell there's a nice sharp entry on the bow here that would be good for cutting waves, but just how sleek the boat looks, it just caught my eye. I love how the hard top uh, you know, goes back like this, like that's just so neat to me. And one of the last things I wanted to show you about the Scout and why I really liked it, I'm gonna click on this right here. And if you can see, this center console has a handle right here, and that handle actually lifts up for easy access to the console, but it's also great access if you want to have a porta potty in there, it is so much easier than crawling sideways inside a console. So if you're someone that has a porta potty, which you know 
we carry one on board um, and use it occasionally. This looks like a much better access point than you know the side console thing like my Sportsman have, where you're kind of crammed in there with all the electronics and it's just not comfortable. All right, so the second boat is a Pathfinder, and it's probably the runner-up right now. Um, you know, this boat is definitely more geared towards fishing than family. You know, it's a legendary boat. You can see in the video running right here. You can see those steps in a hall, so it's similar to the you know Scout that it has a stepped hull. Um, so let's go ahead, and the boat that I would be looking at is the 2400 um, TRS. So they actually, when it's new, they stopped producing the 2400 TRS. Um, so we'll look at the 2200 TRS to kind of give you an idea because it's a similar hull design. So right away, what I love about this boat is the 11 inches of draft. Like I said, I love getting shallow. Um, it is a little bit shorter than the Scout, which, you know, we don't take a whole bunch of people out, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, but there is some differences there. So let's go ahead and click on it and let's view the details. Again, you can tell how low those gunnels are, which I really like, um, but you can also see that there's some seating up here. One thing that really draws me to uh, these boats is the simplicity of it. You know, it's got a smaller motor. This is actually the bigger motor on here. This is 200 horsepower, but you can get it with a 150. I'm not looking to be a speed demon on the water. I'm more concerned about getting from point A to point B and doing it efficiently. So these uh, 22 TRSs are really good at that. And you can see with two people fishing up front, it's super comfortable. Um, and these back jump seats, I think are the best ride in the whole house. It's a little softer up there. But that being said, everybody always wants to sit up front. And so if we look, it does have some nice front seating. Now, I will say compared to the Scout, it looks a little tighter up there and it also doesn't look as recessed down, but they do a good job of putting these bow rails on it, or these bow rails right here on it to kind of keep you safe in there. Um, but overall, it's, you know, it's a little bit tighter than than I uh, would like. Another thing that I don't really care for on the Pathfinder, but because it's kind of more of a serious fishing boat, its console doesn't have a forward seat. You can get the cooler like they have right here, and I think it comes with it. I hope it comes with it um, right here that has that forward seating option, but it's really not the same as having a big you know console seat uh, attached to it. But you can see there's plenty of space up here for people. Um, but this boat is definitely more geared towards you know the fishing crowd. I've fished in Florida a bunch and have been on these boats and they ride great. Um, so it's a great option for someone who I think would go more towards fishing but want to be able to have you know a small family on there at times. And Pathfinders is a boat that's known for its fit and finish. They do a great job. They're strong, um, solid boats that just can get out there and eat up the chop but still get in that shallow water. All right, so the last boat we're going to look at today is Seapro. So there's actually a local dealer called Tri-State Marine that sells these boats, the Seapro boats, and they're starting to sell more and more of the bay boats. Um, and I plan on actually going and doing, and I plan on actually going and doing a video of them. Right now, what I would say I'd be looking at is the 24 uh, or 248 Bay Series. It's a boat that's 24, eight inches long. It's got a wider beam than the other boats we looked at. Um, and it's got more draft than the other boats we looked at too. And it's kind of lower on my list just because of that. 15 inches is a lot of water for me for where I'm casting and I'm fishing. So I don't know how high on the list this one's gonna be. Um, but if you're not concerned about getting super shallow, this can be a great choice uh, of a boat for especially a base series. So kind of going through, you can see it's a pretty wide open area. It's got a big casting deck in the front. One of the things that I really um, don't like as much about the uh, this one compared to other ones is you can see how close to the front this right here is. So this front seating here, instead of having that grab rail like we saw in the Pathfinder, kind of has this bolster with a cup holder, which seems a little awkward there. Um, and you sit literally right on top of that casting deck. Um, so for me and for my needs, it may not be the best choice. Like I said, I'm gonna go see it in person because I'm really curious. I do like the fact that it has a big bench seat in the back instead of the individual jump seats like the um, like the Pathfinder. But it, you know the front just looks like they're just sitting right there and I worry that it won't be a comfortable ride for a lot of people um, when they're up there. So that's my one concern with it. Overall, 
you know, it looks like a really nice boat and I'm excited to go and tour it actually here soon at Tri-State Marine. So those are the top three boats right now that I'm looking at. Hopefully this information was helpful and hopefully you can learn from what I'm going through right now. Now go ahead and click the subscribe button, click the bell because I'm going to be talking more about boats and I'm also going to highlight my Sportsman 231 and the pros and cons of it before I sell it and put it out there for people. Um, like I said before too, if you're looking to buy or sell in the Chesapeake Bay region, make sure you call me, call me, text me, and I'd be happy to help you. You can also scroll down to the first comment, click on the link, and I'll schedule a Zoom meeting one-on-one -on -one with me where we can talk about your home buying needs and honestly, even talk about boats too. And go ahead and make sure if you haven't yet, click the subscribe button, click the little bell so you're notified every single time we put out new content. Hope to see you on the next video.